Uh, speaking of which, if you have kids at home, yeah, who are bored and, you know, they need a little uh, education in the weather department, we have the answer for you. We posted weather lessons. So all you have to do is go to coin.com forward slash weather dash kids. And this week we have all the information you need about the water cycle. So go online and check it out. We'll continue to post more information uh, not only this week, weeks ahead and months beyond that. Nice rainbow here. Thank you, Mr. Soap, for submitting your rainbow picture. This is very nice. Look at that. So something that's, you know, of course, very welcome <laughs> is the sunshine and after the rain, getting a little bit of a rainbow. OK, let's go to Lincoln City, where it is unbelievably nice out here. Just a few leftover clouds behind that front that is now advancing to the southeast. Your temperature in Lincoln City is 52. Wind also pretty light out of the northwest right now. Over to Portland in the distance, you see some leftover moisture hanging out, so you will run into isolated showers that could be heavy at times. But for the most part, we're on our way to some dry conditions. 48 right now in Portland. Wind is out of the northwest at 15 miles per hour. What about the rest of the night, though? Your temperatures overall are going to be in the mid 40s to low 40s right around 10 o'clock. Still partly cloudy leading up to midnight down to about 41 by then. So as we look at the last couple of hours, uh, the most active areas have really been from Yakima South. That's where we continue to see thunderstorms now advancing towards I-84. But also as we're losing this daylight and the daytime heating, this will kind of come to a close as well. But all this moisture now advancing from the north northwest and heading to the southeast. So what's left for us will be again. Partly cloudy skies for you tonight. We had that wet weather down through California. And as this uh, trough continues to advance to the south, again, we'll see most of that moisture kind of drag on with it. What's to come, though? We have a ridge of high pressure that will briefly be in place, briefly. So tomorrow, you'll have some clouds, but you'll also have some dry time to get outside. What's after that? This is our next area of low pressure and it's going to be bringing in yep, more rain on the way. What are we seeing on radar right now? Just again, some isolated pockets of rain, McMinnville over to Salem and right there, right around Wilsonville over to Oregon City and Tualatin. Uh, other than that, we're starting to see some clearing right around the northwest side of Portland and up through Vancouver. Tomorrow, daytime highs in the low 50s. Again, we'll be dry, but also mostly cloudy wind out of the southwest. Tomorrow's temperatures at the coast starting off in the low 40s, daytime highs in the upper 40s. Inland Valley temperatures tomorrow morning will range from the upper 30s to low 40s with daytime highs in the lower 50s. And Central Oregon will get into the low 50s for your daytime highs with plenty of sunshine. Here's your seven day forecast. Yep, those showers return for us uh, Friday, <laughs> lasting through the weekend. Temperatures in the low to mid 50s that we get just a little bit warmer by the time we get to next Tuesday and Wednesday, but those overnight temperatures remain in the lower 40s. Point six news will be right back. After.